Before I say anything, this is allegedly. Ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping, okay? Okay. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the fed. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include TD Jakes with Diddy. I'ma let y'all listen to it. I'm not finna say nothing else. This here, yo bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. Okay, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that TD Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. And they refer to him as being a power bottle. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's house, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. Just don't look good for nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. Hollywood is being turned upside down. Jeffrey Epstein's list is going to come out. If this is actually true, this list is going to come out. And we already know T.D. Jakes is caught up with the other shit, allegedly being the person that is um, messing with Christian Keys. Everybody's saying it's either allegedly T.D. Jakes or allegedly Tyler Perry. It's either one of them. But, oh my God, if this is true... Buckle up, because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out, because it's going to get real. Hey, what's going on here, everybody? Welcome back. It's Jay LaRone Presents, where we go over the facts, foolishness, and black female effery. Just as you saw, we're going to be talking about the Bishop T.D. Jakes, right? Um, I know everybody's heard it by now. Rumors are out. T.D. Jakes was with Diddy, and he's been, you know, messing around with the i guess the lgbtq side of the game as Corey holcomb would say so in this video man we're going to be looking at Corey holcomb as he talks about td jakes and the alleged power bottom incidents <laughs> as they call it all right you guys go ahead hit that like button subscribe share fair use fair use let's go ahead and get into this video i used to talk about gay hollywood and so many people would say to me, Corey think everybody gay. Listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I don't, I can't do nothing about the lifestyle of men who choose that. But I do want to give you a little information. All you guys who thinking of coming out of here, thinking you gonna make it, your asshole 
must be sacrificed. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it, homie. If you ain't coming out of here to ride cowboy style at these parties. The Illuminati, that shit, they approach me. They, man, these motherfuckers think it's a joke. They approach Craig, me. You, you ain't scared to talk about it, huh? Yeah, they approached me, but I was lucky they had the wrong motherfucker because when the Illuminati approached me, they was like, Sinbad. I was like, nah, I'll <laughs> that. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wrong nigga. I ain't sitting back. <laughs> I have been on television shows and been so scared. Because I thought, like I've said this, when I did Black Jesus, I was like, oh shit, this is going to be my last day. Because I saw the scene with the dress in it. Yeah. I am so lucky that I had a director on the show who was like, yeah, Corey, no, you ain't got to just put this thing. He had me put on like. Uh, it's the women of the desert. What is it called? A burqa they wear? Yeah, like yeah. So they told me I could just put on the um, suit the men wear out there. I forgot the name of that. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll put on the pants, nigga. And, you know, it didn't turn into nothing, nothing for real. But I know what it was. I was like, here it is. Here it is. Man. The nigga in the dress episode. Homie, I'm at a stage in life where I'm past that wanting that money like that. I mean, that money like that is good. It makes you not be accountable for nothing in a lot of situations. That's the good thing about money because you're going to get tired of going to the mall and all that shit. That shit play out after a while. But I'm saying, when you got a lot of money, you can basically buy your way out of most situations. Unless them people want you directly, they wanted Michael Jackson. That's why they came at him and put that shit on him. Michael Jackson been Michael Jackson for years. But when they, when he said some shit in this song, all I really know is that they don't really care about us. They was like, oh. Yep. We gonna make you pay for that, Michael. And they have been after him ever since. You know what I'm saying? Probably before that, but I'm just saying. Man, all this stuff you seeing, you ain't getting nothing but bits and pieces of the truth. These parties in Hollywood come with consequence and penetration. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like to party and and bounce, <laughs> you need to come to Hollywood. Why? Look at you, gay. Backdoria in Cleveland. When you can come to LA and you might get the right tickle back there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to know. How the fuck did they come up with this name? Now this name blew my mind. Power Bottom. Damn! I don't. I can just imagine and I was laughing. That's <laughs> I know why. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it. Man. Man, I, will you come on with it, nigga? That's a Power Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I just heard bottom. I never I heard like, of that. Oh, well, I've heard I heard of a bottom. bottom right, but. Yeah. but when they say a power bottom, yeah, that's I don't know where they come up with that at, man. That's just <laughs> that's a fucked up. When I heard that shit, I was like, man, they gotta be kidding me. And then they talking about TD Jake, man. Come on now. <laughs> that mean the nigga on top was like. That nigga cold right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nigga that hit 225. The bottom nigga hit 225. Access denied. Take whatever you put in him. Can't do it. Can't do it. I just put a broomstick in this motherfucker. Yeah. That motherfucker said more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. What is, what the fuck? They got yeah. some shit. They got some cold names in this game, boy. So who's the power bottom? You know who? Oh, <laughs> log off. Log yeah. off. Yeah, they call log off for pot of power bottom. Oh, Just log off his whole life. <laughs> Get ready. You can hear the echo. That echo you thought it was coming from his throat, but it was coming from his ass. His whole life. Lies, 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 lies. <laughs> he don't get hurt. <laughs> this fifty one. Yeah, well, I'm stop it right. And what Corey's talking about is um, when T.D. Jakes addressed his congregation, telling everybody that it's all lies. Um, yeah, so here we go right here. 
Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated and fallible word of God. Because that is what the pulpit is for. But there will be a time. <laughs> Uh, you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off. All you do is just hit the button. Right there. Log off. There is no show here. In the gospel of This video of video show, man, you know we gotta make jokes but about it. Somebody said super. What they said, Super Twizzler. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he been over, that music come on like Superman. I just, I'm still confused about when people, when people do those kind of, um, I guess, presentations or whatever speeches or statement. When when they say they're not going to dress it, but then they dress it, they take the time to. Aren't isn't that doing? You're you're still Can I doing say it. Sure. Please. Okay. It's hard because don't nobody know the truth completely, but TD and all. I mean, but uh, somebody said bicep cheeks. That's true. <laughs> Go ahead. But I hear what you're It's yeah. hard not to address bullshit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but to, but to say that instead of no, 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 no. What he's saying is deep, D. It is. It it's is. hard it. because yeah. look, it's a different side of the brain. Because as entertainers, whether you're a comedian, a preacher, a football player, we all have ego. And regardless of what you do, if you're a power bottom, if you're straight, and you're successful, you have <laughs> went past the bullshit levels of life focus and got yourself to a point where you're successful. So when you hear shit that's bullshit. You want to smash on it. So when I seen that being addressed, I seen somebody that was like, man, if you only knew the real about how I do it, you feel what I'm saying? Because we just know 10, 15 percent. But if he ever if he was ever mad enough to come out and say exactly what he would did, what he does, I feel like it would blow our minds. I don't even feel like our imaginations are 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 big enough to even to even go go where he probably has really been. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully one day uh, he speaks on it because I, I would love to hear it. Well, from what I understand, it's a whole bunch of information that hasn't been released, but you know it will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, about not just one brother, a lot of brothers who's been looked at in ways where it has, it's changed me. Yeah. Some people, I can't go watch their movie no more because all I could think about is how they move. And I'm not one who goes off a rumor with nobody. Yeah. I'm not one who goes off a rumor. I live in Hollywood. I know what it is, cause I done seen it. And now that I know a lot more than the average one would know, it's hard to watch these guys play superheroes. And right, right, right. Good guys and stuff like that. It's tainted. Okay, yeah, so what I want to do is go back to something T.D. Jake said when he was on the pulpit, how he's saying the pulpit is for, you know, preaching the Lord and working all this and all this and all that. But let's just take a look at what happened on, on T.D. Jake's show um, a while back. I don't know how far back this was, but this did happen on the T.D. Jake show since he's saying the pulpit is for preaching the Lord and all this and that. But let's just take a look at something real quick. Now this is a cop dancing to Beyonce's um, single ladies. I 
mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but the, the, the way TD Jakes was looking at the dude while he was dancing, and you see TD Jakes' hand never came out his pocket, right? The whole time this dude dancing, TD Jakes got his hand in that pocket, and that leg, that leg twitching. <laughs> I'm just saying though, this this shit is ridiculous, man. But then one hand in his pocket. Even the comments, the comments are talking about TD Jakes couldn't wait to take him home. <laughs> then somebody say one hand in the pocket can only mean one thing. Ain't that some shit? You got people in the comments, the comment section. Why is hand in his pocket? The whole time, hand hand still in his pocket. You know, the dude sat up there, did all this dance, and TDJ's hand all up in his pocket. Never took his hand out. Even after the dude did the, even when the dude came up and hugged him and did the splits, TDJ's hand still in his pocket. <laughs> TDJ's hands will take that. <laughs> Please stop reading these comments, man. All right, but that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, you guys. You know, hey, I don't know. But also what I've heard is that TD Jakes is doing copyright strikes on a lot of people's YouTube channels as well. So trying to keep people quiet because a lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people are talking about this. So, and I was watching, I think it was Ringo TV reactions or something like that. And he was saying that TD Jake's team, you know what I'm saying, is copywriting strike, is, is sending copyright strikes out on, on YouTube channels. You know, they're false because all of this, all this is is fair use. So they're sending false copyright strikes out, trying to get people channels deleted. Okay. So if that's the, if, if you're innocent, why are you sending out strikes to try to shut people up from talking about this, right? If there's nothing to talk about. Like I said, again, this is just fair use. Fair use. All this is allegedly. We don't know nothing yet. But like I said, you guys, if, if nothing, if if people are sending out strikes because you are talking about something, they're trying to keep you quiet. A lot of times, you can see that as an, an admission of guilt, of guilt, right? So, could be. But we will soon find out. Again, this is your boy Jay Lerone. Jay Lerone presents. Pre please, please comment, like, subscribe, share. You guys, please be good to yourself. By all means, let's be good to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit. And the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning, I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams we all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe You can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be?
and deep with me.